All right, guys, so in this video, we're going to add a new MySpace, and it's actually pretty easy to join. So let's go ahead and check this out. You could either do it through Facebook or Twitter or email. I'm going to select email. Although if you do select either Facebook or Twitter, uh, what's really great is that um, once you start adding any information on your MySpace, you could actually have that ported over to your Twitter or your Facebook so that you don't have to you know, repost things. Everything is just kind of uh, streamlined that way. So if you have a lot of social networks and you're really trying to promote yourself, this is a really, really handy tool. Also what I like about uh, this sign up is that it doesn't actually ask to confirm your email. If it re realizes that it's a valid email, it'll just automatically accept it and let it go through. You don't need a confirmation, go to your email and then uh, hit a confirmation link, get back to the page and then re-log in and all that sort of stuff. This way it's just a lot more streamlined. Uh, so let's go ahead and just hit create account. So you know what, it won't let me do this uh, password, so I'll go ahead and choose another one. Probably new Vice Music seems fine enough. Awesome, I'll hit create account. And now we're gonna hit the main page, or maybe this about page. So you can basically decide what kind of page you wanna have. I'm going to go ahead and choose musician, but there's options from you know DJ and producer and artists and things like that. So this is the main page right here. And I'm going to go ahead and select an image. So here's my photo that I'm going to go ahead and use. Select that, open it, probably crop it or something. Here we are. I'll go ahead and hit save. And you know what, I'm, I'm actually going to even add a cover image as well. So let's go ahead and do that. Luckily I have one right here. Hit open. Cool, looks like it formatted itself. Don't need to do that. Go ahead. So right here, it basically tells you to go ahead and uh, do what I just did, add a cover image. Now I'm going to go ahead and add some detail about myself. So I'm just going to keep this short and sweet for right now. Let's go ahead and type in something nice. So this is going to be pretty much the first thing that people see when they enter my profile. So it's just going to be a, you know, a short little sentence here, short and sweet. Nobody, nobody usually likes to read a whole giant thing. Uh, if you do want to have all that, you can say that for the uh, bio section. It lets you select your location. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. If you have a website, you could add that. Again, you could add a bio or some contacts. Um, if you want to go ahead and have a song associated with your profile, you can do that and even select the top eight. Uh, if you guys remember MySpace uh, before, there's still a top eight. What's a little bit different is that uh, you can choose from artists and things like that. So there's no more problems with the you know, your friends saying, oh, why am, why am I not in your top eight? So you can just uh, select, you know, different stuff, different media and stuff like that. So forego that problem. So right now I'm looking at uh, different options right here. You can add mixes and uh, see your connections. Uh, so that would be if you had a playlist going on and if you had um, people that you were connected with, this is where you would find them. Right now I'm just going to add a simple, uh, I guess, text to my photo here. So let me go ahead and hit this uh, right here. Yeah, so you definitely, you can't connect with people until you actually add them. So we'll, we'll get to that in a little while. Right here is uh, the area where you can go ahead and discover some people. If you want to go ahead and find some people in your local area, it makes it pretty simple for you to do that. Right now I'm just going to hit this MySpace button, see what else we have here. So these are different ways where you can find people. Uh, you can check a library, people, insights. Let's go ahead and upload a song right now. So I'm just going to go down to my media, select the song, Summer Lust. And I'll select one of these two. Actually, you know what, I'm going to select the shorter version, just a little preview. Hit open. And what's nice about this is that um, unlike 
Facebook, you can immediately just uh, start adding your own music. So you don't need a SoundCloud, you don't need like a Reverb Nation or a Bandcamp or anything like that. You don't have to set up all this uh, complicated stuff. You could just start uploading music and mixes right here uh, in this section right here, which makes it a whole lot simpler. If you share a song on one uh, on your Facebook, it actually will port over to your your Facebook and things like that. So, which uh, that's actually uh, you know pretty darn handy, I would say. Right now, I'm selecting a cover art for the song. Looks a little off, so let me go ahead and fix that. Hit save. Awesome. So it looks like it's taking a little bit of time for it to process, probably because it's uh, putting in some sort of media player. I'll probably check back in a second, uh, see if it'll let me uh, speed up the process somehow. Let me go ahead and click this. Nope, it doesn't let me do it. So uh, it'll just uh, it'll pretty much just uh, upload in the background. Right here, you have your settings. I'm looking at my uploads, library, stream. Let's go ahead and check this out. So right now, while it's uploading, we'll go ahead and discover some new people. So what's nice is that it has this uh, little section uh, where you can you know, either discover male or female or all, people in a specific uh, area code or uh, location, cities, musical interests, uh, profile types, things like that. So these are all the people in my local area that are using the new MySpace, which is a whole ton. It's pretty interesting. It looks like uh, the new MySpace is picking up a lot of traction because of its uh, sleek design. And I think it's a little bit more open to uh, customization, so I think that's also why people are, are using. So I'm just going to find some people that look kind of interesting. Now I have a couple of people that I'm connected with. Now um, the way connections work is a little bit different than friending because you usually, you send a friend request, you have to wait for them to go ahead and friend you back. Uh, with connections, uh, what makes it interesting is that you just automatically connect with people, uh, which makes things a lot easier to share with and to uh, see what's going on uh, with different people that you want to get to know. So right now I'm just going to go ahead and select the song, really like the song, still see what other music we have here. You can instantly just uh, connect with music as well, uh, which is pretty sweet. Um, there's a whole bunch of music that's already, you know, curated through MySpace and through other users. Uh, so this is actually uh, pretty cool. You can basically listen to their, to their playlist and these other design playlists for you to go ahead and check out. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, select this one right here. It's kind of like a pop one. You got different videos if you want to view uh, music videos basically what it's doing it's it's basically bringing all the sites that we like to be on things like um, I would say like Spotify and maybe Pandora and stuff like that and you're able and even Vimeo uh, for music videos and stuff like that it basically connects all of these things all together all at once which is really nice uh, so now you can, you know, basically be viewing people's profiles while listening to the music you like or watching a video. Really, really awesome. So before you would have to have multiple tabs open to do things like that. So that's uh, it's kind of what's unique with the new design of MySpace. Right here is kind of like this informational area. Um, whenever you're looking for some more help, you can come to this page right here. Uh, you can see what's new, what's going on. They have a, a new iPhone app. They have this Artist HQ, which is really handy. Uh, it helps you understand how to upload music, things like that. Uh, how to promote, really, uh, really, really good stuff there. Let's go ahead and take, take a look at the new iPhone app. So it looks like it's also gonna have a really sleek design as well. I just got a notification there at the bottom that let me know that my new uh, song that I uploaded, Summer Lust, has just finished uploading, pretty nice. Let's go back a few pages. So right now we're looking at uh, my profile and I'll go ahead and post something. 
So understanding the, the layout and the flow of the new MySpace is actually pretty second nature, although I've never been on this page before. Um, I just feel pretty comfortable in it. I, I really like the way uh, everything looks as well. I mean, just down to the font, everything looks really cool. You can add all the normal stuff that you're used to, add a song, you could upload a photo, upload a video, change your location, all that sort of stuff. At the bottom there, you could see uh, the controls for uh, your music, different connections and things like that. The far right, you could see the uh, radio button. And this is all the activity that's going on on my page right now. So this is the new MySpace uh, for mid 2013. Uh, more videos coming along in social media series, so stay tuned. And of course, I'll catch you guys for that. Peace. Thanks for watching this video. And if you're watching this video and you're not currently enrolled to the Recording Connection, this is only a small taste of what you could be learning in our program. The Recording Connection provides all of our students with industry standard software, like Pro Tools, to take your engineering skills to the next level. We also provide books with excellent lesson plans, a professional studio engineer who will mentor you and show you how to operate real studio equipment, and so much more. With the Recording Connection, getting finance is a breeze. We have many different tuition options, so getting hooked up at a studio near you is fast and easy. For more information, check out www.recordingconnection.com. And of course, I'll catch you guys on the next video.